A common argument from the religious community is that you can't trust science. Because science has an agenda. Science is always changing its mind, revising, updating, adjusting. So it's unreliable. Whatever science discovers, it'll certainly change again, right? Well, science once thought the Earth was flat. But thanks to the groundbreaking work of Aristotle, Eratosthenes, Magellan, improved surveying instruments and map-making methods, and ultimately the use of space telescopes and satellite cameras, science now knows the exact shape of the Earth. Science did change its mind, but only because the evidence called for it. We now know the Earth is an oblet spheroid, and no future discovery will cause the Earth to be any other shape. The fact that science improved its information speaks to its strength, not its weakness. Like a blade that's continually being sharpened, mankind's grasp of the world around us has become more and more acute. And when something's simply not known or a mistake is made, science will usually be the first to admit it and publicly fix it. Let's get some perspective. For just a moment, let's take a look at some of science's greatest hits. In modern medicine, the invention of anesthesia, the mapping of the human circulatory system, the x-ray, penicillin, vaccines for polio and smallpox, the typing of different blood groups, the invention of the pacemaker. Science harnessed electricity, and now it powers the world around us. Everything from the common wristwatch to the Hadron Collider. Our knowledge of electricity has changed life as we know it. The Human Genome Project, mapping the approximately 25,000 genes in human DNA, has helped us better understand how to diagnose, treat, and prevent the thousands of disorders that affect human beings, and is helping us to unlock the mysteries of our origins. The exploration of space. Modern day telescopes and expeditions into space have given us a window into the stars, expanding our knowledge about the origins and nature of the universe around us, have sent us to the moon and allowed us to navigate the surface of other planets. Space exploration also spurred one of NASA's greatest contributions to mankind, the invention of memory foam. Science gave us the theory of relativity, helped us to understand the nature of light and the laws of motion. Science is responsible for the invention of the automobile, the computer, digital music, the running shoe, DNA testing, GPS, the laser beam, smoke detectors, sanitary water, air travel, power tools, the electric shaver, birth control, microwave ovens, the TV remote, nuclear power, Velcro, the International Space Station, and breast implants. Contrast these amazing discoveries against some of the major contributions of mainstream religion, like the hotel room Bible, the communion wafer, praying to nobody, circumcision, hymnals, the little Greek fish, childhood indoctrination, the church fundraiser, Christian summer camp, the offering plate, child molesting priests, religious television, and the white church bus. Okay, we're just poking fun here, but honestly, don't take our word for it. Add up the contributions of science versus the contributions of religion on your own. Evaluate the track record. Objectively ask yourself how religion stacks up against scientific method. We know that science is far from perfect, but compared to religion, we hope you'll agree with us. You can trust science.